Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking: a Superheated steam at an average temperature 200 degrees Celsius is transported through a steel pipe. So we have this pipe right here, and then the pipe is insulated with four centimeter thick layer of gypsum plaster. In the outside, we have a insulated part, and let's see. The insulated pipe is placed horizontally inside a warehouse where the average air temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. So we have surface temperature that is 10 degrees Celsius. The steam and the air heat transfer coefficient is estimated to be 800 and 200 watts per meter square. And uh, calculate the daily rate of heat transfer. So we have to calculate heat transfer and the temperature on the outside surface of the gypsum plaster insulation. Let's see how we can do this. First of all, we have to find the total resistance in order to find the heat transfer. Because to find the heat transfer, we are going to use this equation. Q dot is equal to T inside minus T outside over R total. So this is the equation we use. So in order to calculate this one, we have to know the R total. R inside, we know that 200 degrees Celsius. Let's put this one in a different color. So this one 200 degrees Celsius and R outside 10 degrees Celsius. And let's go ahead and calculate the resistance. Let's start from the inside. So inside we have air flowing. So this is going to be convection. And then we have steel. That's going to be conduction. R conduction. So let's put this one as R steel. And then we have insulated part right outside. So that's going to be R insulation. And then we have outside, right? So we are going to have R outside. Now let's go ahead and calculate all of this. R inside is convection. To find the convection, we use 1 over H I A inside, right? This is going to be surface area. 1 over Hi is going to be the heat transfer coefficient. They have given inside and outside. This is inside and this one is outside. Right. Now here we need to put the inside to find the first one. This is going to be 800 and the surface area. You can use 2 phi Rh for a cylinder. Surface area is going to be 2 phi Rh or phi dl. Both of them are same thing. Let's use the, since they have given the diameter, let's use phi dl, right? And the in, inside diameter is 6 cm. This is the one we are going to use. Outside diameter is 8 cm. Since we are dealing with inside part, so this is going to be inside diameter. This is going to be phi times d, that is 6 cm. If we convert this one into meter, that's going to be 0 0.06 meter and then we have the length that is 20 meter right and if you calculate this one let's forget about the units for now so 0 0.06 times 20 meter and if you calculate this one this is going to give you 0 0.00033 one six degrees Celsius per watts, and this is R inside. Now let's go for the R steel. R steel is going to be conduction. R steel. So whenever we have conduction, conduction, and this is a cylindrical shape. For a cylindrical shape, conduction can be calculated. I mean, R conduction can be calculated by this equation. That is R long d2 d2 is outer diameter over d1 that is inner diameter over 2 phi k steel times length right so this is the equation we use when we have cylindrical shape so here we are going to use this one so this is going to be long outer diameter is 8 centimeter but we can keep this one in centimeter because 
when we divide both of them the ratio is going to be equal even if you convert into meter or anything the ratio is going to be always same thing so you don't have to convert this one into meter we can put it as 8 centimeter so this is going to be 8 over 6 right inner, inner diameter is 6 outer diameter is 8 so this is going to be 8 over 6 and even even if you put radius it doesn't going to ch it's not going to change anything because the ratio is still going to be the same and in the denominator we have 2 phi and thermal contact with your steel is provided right here that's 50 watts per meter kelvin so this one multiply by 50 and the length is 20 and if you calculate this one this is going to give you 0 0.00000458 degree celsius per watts now let's go for the next one our insulated part so insulated part again this is a conduction and cylindrical shape so we are going to use the same equation the only thing that's going to change is k value right other others are going to be the same now let's go ahead and plug the values and let's see we have 8 centimeter out diameter 6 centimeter in diameter yeah it's going to be the same thing now let's go ahead and plug the values hmm. you know what here we have to be careful the pipe is insulated with 4 centimeter thick layer of gypsum so if we add so here we have 8 cm outer layer, right? 8 cm. And if we add 4 cm thick layer in each side, if we put 4 cm, so let's say 4 cm thick layer, right? And if we look at this diameter, if 4 cm here, here also we are going to have 4 cm. So totally we are adding 8 cm. So this is going to be 8 cm, 8 cm. Totally we have 16 cm. For this one the outer outer diameter is going to be 16 cm and the beginning point of the insulation is 8 cm, right? So this is going from so the D value, the outer diameter for this one is going to be 16 cm and the inner diameter is going to be 8 cm. So this is different. So diameter is different and also K value is different. Length is going to be the same. And now let's go ahead and plug the values. Insulator part loud. Let's call this one D3 over D2 over 2 phi K insulator part times length. And now we know that outer diameter is going to be long 16 divided by ins inside diameter that's going to be 8 over 2 phi and k insulated part that is given by gypsum plaster k value is 0 0.5 so this is going to be the k value right here 0 0.5 and then length is 20 and if you calculate this value that's going to give us 0 0.011032 degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have this one. Now let's go to the this last part. Our outside again. This is a, this is a convection again. So let's use the convection equation. R is equal to one over h outside area outside. So this is going to be one over H outside we know that 200 watts per meter square Kelvin 200 and then area outside again we are going to use phi DL right so phi is going to be same phi D diameter and we know that after we add this insulated part the total diameter becomes 16 centimeter so the outside diameter is going to be 16 centimeter and if you convert this one into meter, that's going to be 0 0.16 times length is going to be 20. And if you calculate this value, 
that's going to give you 0 0.0004974 degrees Celsius per watts and this is what we have in the outside right now we have all the values and let's add them together and this is going to be R total is going to be equal to R inside plus R steel plus R insulated part plus are outside and if you add them together that's going to give you 0 0.011907 degrees Celsius per watts right now we have the total resistance we need this total resistance to calculate Q dot because Q dot is the main question heat transfer rate right rate of heat transfer now let's go ahead and plug this value in this equation and find the final answer so from this one we know that Q dot is going to be equal to maybe I raise this part okay okay let's get rid of these things Okay, now let's go ahead and calculate Q dot. Q dot is equal to T inside. Inside temperature is 200 degrees Celsius, right? 200 minus outside temperature 10 degrees Celsius. So this is going to be 10 over R total. We calculated that one right here. This is 0 0.011907 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 15,957 watts now we have calculated Q dot now let's look at the second this is answer for the A part now let's look at the B part B part is asking the temperature on the surface on the outside surface of the gypsum blaster so the temperature at outside insulation let's see how we can calculate it so he, we are trying to find this one right here temperature at this point and here we have outside resistance and then we have the temperature outside temperature inside let's see how we can find it again we can and the main thing is whenever we have resistance in series the temperature is going, going to be heat transfer rate is going to be equal everywhere so q dot right here is equal to q dot right here q dot right here and q dot so what we can do is we can we already found out the q dot and we can use the same equation again to find the temperature at this location but the only thing that's going to change is the temperature is going to change inside temperature we are going to use this one because that's what we are trying to find outside is going to remain the same and the R resistance is going to be between these two the only resistance we have is outside resistance so we are going to have that one in the denominator and let's go ahead and calculate this one so this is going to be Q dot is equal to T surface minus T outside over R outside and T surface is what we are trying to find Q dot is going to be equal or in every, everywhere if it's in series so here we are going to have 15,957 is equal to T surface minus T outside that is 10 degrees Celsius. In the denominator we are going to have the outside resistance. Outside resistance we already calculated right here. That is 0 0.0004. 4974 right and if you rearrange this equation and calculate the surface temperature you will get 17.9 degrees celsius and that's going to be the final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time